welcome to the game show, Do You Know Women? I'm your host, Tiffany Clark, and we're going to go ask people, mainly men, about questions about women's history. Here are the rules. You can be in a group, you can be alone, either way, it doesn't matter. Um, you can have two, you have three strikes and you're out, you have two lifelines, you can knock on a neighbor, or you can phone a friend. So, let's go play! And you have two lifelines. You can either tap on a neighbor or you can phone a friend. Yay! More people. Perfect. You can all join in. Okay, so here is your first question. Okay. Colonial women could refuse to mar a marriage proposal unless they were? Under 16? 18? Eh -eh. Single? No. Already would, married. Would, would one of your friends like to answer? Oh, I'm going with already married. Okay. Who was the first woman settler born on American ground? Your options are A. Virginia Dare, B. Virginia Georgia Lewis, C. Caroline Hutchings, or D. Albany Winchester. themselves up pretty well. 
Women were supposed to be beautiful, diffident, un unassuming, suffering, and passionless. That was what I was Men thinking. were supposed to be strong, daring, confident, and great in action, and lustful. None of those are you. No. <laughs> no. <Thank> you. <laughs> okay. Alright, an African-American named Isabel, who was a slave during the beginning of her life, gained her freedom and traveled the U.S. protesting and preaching against slavery. She wrote, relo uh, relocated former slaves and spoke for women's rights and is the most famous of, for speaking, Ain't I a Woman. She is best known under the name of Soldier. what's your last name? I know that speech, Ain't I a Woman. She says it like 40 times. <coughs> Soldier Nair. You know it? Soldier Williams. Do you want to ask a friend? Yes. You my friend? Your friend! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know it? what I think we'll all get a kick out of. <laughs> Horizontal refreshments was a term used by soldiers when they wanted to get away from the war life. What does it mean? A. Gonna get a prostitute. B. Gonna go lay down. C. Gonna drink till I'm silly. Or D. Gonna get high. B. Gonna lay down. A. It's A. Gonna get a prostitute. Okay. Question number two. <laughs> the turn of the century, 1900s, brought about new changes for most women, liberating them, making them more outspoken and full of life. These women fighting to have more rights and make women more equal are called what? Women's rights activists? I don't know. <laughs> that or starts with an N, ends with a W. In the middle, there's only one letter. The now. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> new women! Oh, new women. Oh, okay. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jane Addams founded what house and was center for services for poor immigrants? Oh, I don't know. Starts with an H. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Hoyton? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Starts with an H, ends with an L, has two letters in between. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Hold on! Oh, hold on. Last question. Who was President Lincoln's wife, and did she support the Confederates or the Union? I don't know who his wife was, and she supported the Union? Part. Confederates. Part. Would you like to take my your answer? <laughs> I don't. I don't even know that. Uh, she supported the Confederates. I think she supported. The Confederates. Her name was Mary Todd Lincoln, and she supported the Union.